Hi, in this video we're going to demonstrate how to perform backup and restore of AWS EC2 instances using CloudBerries and BS Web Console. So as you may know, many businesses these days are moving their IT infrastructure to the cloud to take advantage of its scalability, availability and durability. Now that is not to say that the cloud is not prone to occasional issues that lead to some type of data loss. So if you're looking to migrate certain operations of your business to EC2, or maybe you've already done that, you might consider backing up your EC2 instances to ensure that if something goes wrong with the instance itself or with the attached EBS volumes, you always have a backup that you can quickly restore as another EC2 instance. Alright, so let's briefly discuss how the EC2 backup works in the MBS Web Console. So the MBS Web Console features custom Amazon EC2 backup functionality that enables you to backup your instances to Amazon S3. So what we do is we take Amazon's native snapshots and improve them by fixing their weaknesses. So what are these weaknesses of Amazon's native snapshots? Well, sometimes it takes almost an hour to create a snapshot of an EC2 instance and during this hour a lot of data could be modified and the resulting build could be substantially different from what you'd expect. So we have solved this issue by first creating a VSS snapshot which only takes a few seconds, sometimes a few minutes to complete and then we create a native EC2 snapshot so this way we combine Amazon's native snapshot functionality with our own VSS solution. And it's also worth mentioning that MBS backs up metadata of an instance to be able to perform item level restore in the future. So what you need to do is open up the MBS web console. Under RMM you should click remote management. And here you'll see the list of your current machines that you're operating. Uh, you can select whichever machine you want. Clearly we need an EC2 instance here. So let's take this computer and let's click on the plus button and click EC2 instance. In a few seconds we will be redirected to the backup wizard uh, which is similar to what you would find in CloudBerry Backup. Uh, so let's call it the daily EC2 backup. Now the next step is to indicate the cloud storage that is to store the backup. So we're going to select the EC2 storage which is our S3 London. All right, so let's go ahead and select the backup source. Let's only select the system required partitions. Now we can also create an AMI during backup for faster restoration. And also we can backup metadata, which is uh, essential for file level restore. All right, let's go ahead and configure the retention policy. For the sake of this example, let's just keep the default values. Uh, and let's go ahead and configure the scheduling options. Let's configure a daily backup, which is going to occur on Fridays. And that's pretty much it. As for notifications, we're going to configure notifications to be sent only when backup fails. And also let's add an entry to Windows event log when the backup completes. All right, so let's click Save. And as you can see, we have our plan, which is right here. It's going to be executed automatically on Friday, but we can go ahead and launch it manually right here by clicking Start. And as you can see, the plan is being currently prepared. Uh, it's going to execute afterward. And in a short while, your backup will be in your S3 storage. And later on, you can restore it as an EC2 instance using MBS Web Console, which we're going to demonstrate right now. Restoring backups as EC2 instances can be done on the Restore to Cloud page. So let's go ahead and uh, open this page. And as you can see, we have Amazon EC2 Restore. So let's click that. So here we have the Restore Wizard. Uh, let's name this plan as the One Time Restore. Let's select our user. Yeah, select the user, select the destination which is the storage that contains the backup. Select the computer. And choose the point in time. And click Next. On the second page of this wizard, we need to indicate the disks that need to be restored. So we're going to select all of these disks and click Next. So select the EC2 instance type. Let's go with T2 medium, select the subnet, security group, and here we can enable or disable the consistent restore checkbox. Now, let's go back to what we were talking about earlier. 
Cloudberry MBS Web Consoles first creates a VSS snapshot before it proceeds to create a native cloud snapshot in EC2. So in order to avoid issues that can emerge when restoring with the Amazon's instances, you can go ahead and use our VSS snapshot to perform consistent restore. That way you can be sure that your data will be not corrupt and exactly in the same state that you had backed it up. But please note that using consistent restore requires using a temporary instance. So if this checkbox is deselected, you can see that this step just disappears. And if you enable it, you have to configure a temporary instance. All right, so let's go ahead and configure the temporary instance. It's better to retain the same settings that you had indicated on the previous step. Let's click Next. So here you can preview the plan, look through the look through these parameters, and when you're ready, click Save to save the plan, or Save and Run to save the plan and execute it. Let's click Save and Run. So as you can see, the plan is uh, executing. It's currently initializing a temporary instance. And by the time it's finished, it'll display the details of your EC2 instance. And so then you can go to your AWS console and uh, work with your EC2 instance. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.